Welcome back everyone, my name is Dr. Kriva. This is some more Stellaris Lithoids playing as the fire host. And last episode was cut a little tiny bit short simply because the game crashed on me when I tried to move some species around, which was unexpected. Um, at least with Iron Man saves, it uh, saves pretty often, so I had to only go back to the start of this month, recolonize the world, make sure that the thing was um, doing the same thing, also downgrade you while we're at it. Uh, the same things happened basically and except for one thing apparently we, because of the reload I got a good roll on a uh, dick side I was doing so the freezing climate of Lingo 4 has covered this side in thick layers of ice and snow the desolate location of this site may be a hint of the need for discretion whatever took place here someone wanted to keep it hidden and um, yeah make sure to keep digging Go back to fastest speed for the time being. Construction complete. Something, something, Q. Um, actually, they're now at size 40, which means we can upgrade the Hive Nexus. Construction complete. Even better. Oh, we... When did we get the tech? A while ago. Huh. Um, yeah, so let's add some ships. Now, let's look at my battleship design. So I have a very balanced design on this one and a heavy design on this one. Let's go with a third spinal mount design because spinal mounts are cool. And I guess this will be uh, one with neutron launchers and particle lances. Which probably means that the other ship we're going to retool to be, well, the other spinal one that I like, the mega cannon and gauss cannons. Let's put some shielding on here as well. And some shield capacitors. Oh. Um, hmm. Actually, yeah, I want shield capacitors on them all. So I just lost my design. There we go. Back to the product lens, which will automatically see upgrades very soon. Four times this. So crystal plating increases the hull points of the ship, while armor increases the armor of the ship. I do want some armor on the ship. Uh, accuracy. And now we shall add the accuracy battleship. I'm um, just going to go to 166 because we're probably going to be able to get more fleet limit extensions in the future. And I probably want to keep the amount of battleships even. On the other hand, I could just add a cruiser to both of these. And I'll do that instead. Let's reinforce both of these fleets. So that's two extra battleships and a cruiser for every fleet and I can easily go build another fleet um, I do want a gateway in Vakradil and in Kroxima Oh, we missed out on a battleship building. Well, it's being worked on now. Construction complete. Now, that is good news. Construction complete. Accretion. 
Mission complete. The Empress Motel. At the very center of the city overlooking the main square is a grand ostensibly decorated palace with a garish neon sign advertising the Empress Motel. Inside it are lavish chambers filled to the brim with treasure from which the Empress and her board of trusted advisors governed. It is also where the hoarders held their last stand, defending their Empress and her precious Rubricator. With any luck, the Rubricator can still be found in its usual spot by the Empress's lilac ribbon. I have a feeling that's not going to be the case. I'm just saying. I want to upgrade an alloy forge. Why don't you build a research lab? You have jobs available. You are working for generators, so I guess just random stuff. Build some chemical plants. And I suppose some exotic gas refineries. Oh yeah, you're a mining world. Supercomputer. No, no, wait. It's alloy foundries. Let's just build those instead. Now, our advantage in... It should actually not matter that much for us how many jobs we have available. Technically, because we have only got one species, there's nothing to calculate what's the best one, I guess. Construction complete. Um, yeah, I, I do want you to attack Cradil. Construction complete. We got Tachyon Lances, as expected. Let's get the planetary shield generator. You should upgrade. You need some ablative stations. Oh my gosh. Let's go to Mizua. How many pop? Exactly a hundred pop. And it could seize drone production on worlds. Yeah, our growth is pretty freaking insane. Now you can actually build a nebula. Whoa, okay, what is happening now? This just plummeted. Also, we get a new ascension perk available. Naval cap, habitability, confluence of thought. Let's do that one. Okay, so... Things we'll want are galactic wonders, maybe master builders. We have four slots left. We already did evolutionary mastery. MPL prerogative I don't like anymore. It will be good. It will be good. Executive Vigor is actually really good. Raiding Bombardment Stance allows us to abduct Pops so we can start eating them earlier. Yeah, let's make our opinion better because we defend against the... And game price is a lot better. Not really necessary. Now, Galactic Force Projection, though, on the other hand, is pretty, pretty good for us. Fleet Command Limit plus 20. Naval Cap plus 80. Not that we have issues with our Naval Cap right now, but... You know, let's just grab Executive Vigor. Allows us to uh, do stuff like these a lot longer. 
Oh yeah, we upgraded all of these because of the Khan. This even. Oh, of course. Oh, wow. Um. Sometimes when it's recalculating these jobs, it's doing weird things. The complex cons ah, this is the frozen complex. The complex consists of several larger underground structures connected with a network of tunnels, many of which are collapsed or blocked by ice. Although ancient, some of the tunnels show clear signs of fire. The damage caused by the fire is major enough to suggest a catastrophic event or perhaps intentional destruction. One thing is sure, that it is, and that is that the purpose of this site seems to be scientific in nature. Autonomous ship intellects. It will greatly enhance the responsiveness in combat. Well, since it doesn't exactly say uh, red as in dangerous tech, I'll grab it. Construction complete. We're still getting insulted. There it is. A snarling, hissing fiend disappeared out of the void. With one swipe of her giant talons, she snatched the archaeology shuttle carrying the excavation team and the rubricator back to the VSS Isle Affair, bending it open and prying the rubricator from within. It seems we have finally had the displeasure of meeting the hoarding rat's assailant. The dragon must have been attracted by their countless treasures and made her nest within the royal palace, feasting upon their bodies. Perhaps she was on the prowl or observed from afar as we excavated the ruins, waiting for the right moment to strike. She appears to be grounding something in her general direction. Engage evasive maneuvers. Oh, that's a shame. We've not lost... Oh, lost the Corvette. Fork. And we actually lost a battleship. And six Corvettes. Well, here we go. The vile old dragon owner Shart has drawn her final breath. In a snatch around her neck, nestled in the downy fuzz underneath the gnarled scales above her heart, hangs her most treasured possession. The Rubricator. A relic capable of replicating any artifact it has come in contact with. Okay, what the... Oh, no, that's because that ran out. Um, yeah, let's reactivate that. Now it lasts 18 years. That's pretty long. Yeah, we kind of need to have that. Um, we lost a scientist. You can now return home. You can also just reinforce the fleet again. Just why the heck not? And... We need to build... A new science ship but we finished the rubricator and I should have gotten an achievement for this hang on oh, before we continue let's pause it I should have gotten an achievement I'm not sure if you can see this maybe you can but where is it it's pretty far down, that's for sure. Find relics, five relics from Ancient Relics Story Pack. Then is it seriously not counting some of these? Like, Ancient Relics, Ancient Relics... They're all from the Ancient Relics, you know? We do need some somehow 
it's probably because we are building stuff and also not building stuff. They do have 44 miners here. We have just unlocked Mega Engineering. Um, let's unlock Living Metal straight after. So things we can do now is repair the strategic coordination center and repair the sentry array. Repairing the one of these will actually grant us the ability of um, building other things as well. Since there's no use in having a second sentry array, I am going to upgrade this or repair this one. I just need a ton of those. And they're expensive. So we need to save up a little bit of alloys. Luckily our fleets are back to full strength and we kind of only need to upgrade them. Which at the moment is, I think, just building some uh, things on them. Uh, Conference of Thoughts. Fleet Command Limit plus 10. Hey, that sounds like something we could use. Ancient Biological Lab. Further investigation reveals that the primary purpose of this site seems to have been in the research and development of biological agents. The whole complex seems to have been purged by fire, possibly as the result of the accidental release of one of the biological agents being developed here. With careful and meticulous study of the artifacts that remain, some clues may be found. That was not very much in the way of um, research gained at this level. We are at 6k research, I mean. Per month. Let's look at our situation log. We only have the L cluster to go. For that, we only need to find our L gate. I'm not 100% sure if I control one. That's a regular gateway. That's a regular gateway. Zurichon Black Hole is our. Uh, Oh, I really should be upgrading this if I haven't yet. Anyway, we need some a new scientist. So erudite, five percent research speed, just straight up. Have needs to come to our relic world, start assisting research for even more tech. And I guess we're already doing Vakradil. Now going through planets and finding which one is uh, producing the science we need. Well, Ordo is. Visor is also pretty high up there. I think that's in this system. Yep, wrong one. Here it is. Just go assist research there. You're on your way. We need... Yeah, that one definitely needs to be activated. Environmental engineer, new skills. Oh, you pricks. They're sending their trade routes through my systems, which is generating piracy. Yeah. Um, you definitely need to come to Mizoa, I suppose. Well, it doesn't have to be Mizoa, but Mizoa is a good choice because I know there's plenty of room for stuff there. Minus 81 minerals per, mo per month. Jobs, pops, and sector. And yeah, that is a fair point. How much does our sector currently control? Let's just bring that to to one. Completed construction of their gateway. 
We lost all our bonuses that we took for fighting the Khan, but those were just damage bonuses. More gateways are finishing up. Good for them. Oh, we need sentinel posts here. Oh, they integrated their neighbor. The Sigan Associated Sons are almost completely gone. Well, capacity overload is dropping. Do we want habitability increase or refunds, which then turn to orbital bombardment damage and army damage? I think I want the right side first. Yeah, it looks like we will need that active again. Why are we suddenly at plus 127 minerals? I don't even know. What I do really like is these synaptic nodes, and we should really start upgrading those around the place. And actually having them on every planet as well. Autonomous ship intellects. There is gateway construction that I need. Uh, you can now get the upgrade queued up. Yeah, I do kind of want more. Uh, and let's not build that one yet. I do want those synaptic nodes. I kind of want the unity to start really coming in. Yeah, they're basically toast. How's your total fleet power now? They're still superior to us. Even superior in tech level. That is probably the scariest part of that. Not only have they got a bigger fleet, they've also got a much stronger fleet. Yeah, armor upgrades seem like a nice idea right now. And that's construction complete on Perticia. But... Now we can get living metal. Just build me that station and then there's one up here that I would like to grab. Mining stations and outpost. Build me that one first. Build me those ones first as well. I think there's more living metal down here somewhere. We do have Zro lying around, not using that at all. You're there. The question is, do you... All right, this is also ours. I keep forgetting how far our stuff reaches. Nope, no living metal here. The only living metal is up there. Oh no, there's one here. That is out of reach for now. But what living metal does is pretty good. It's here. Living metal mega construction. So you use it to well, build mega structures even faster. Anyway, for now, I would like to thank you all for watching. And make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I really should work on, a f on more fleets to take on the Eliminators. Uh, yeah, for now, I uh, will um, see you all later.